Hey Steve, this is Richard Furch here. We're doing a mixed critique for you with Gobbler. And I'm going to tell you what that was like. So I sent the mix off via Gobbler to Richard Furch, who is one of my all time favorite idol mixers. He's worked on a ton of stuff I love. He's worked with Outkast, he's worked with Prince. So I sent it off and I want to tell you a little bit what that experience was like for me. But I want to give you four takeaways that I have that are a little bit more macro. One, be brave. I was a little apprehensive to send him a mix because, well, I really look up to him and I was a little scared of what he would say. From the top of the thing, like impression first, is like you have a nice reverb on it, um, but I think the reverb makes too much of a sound. What I mean by that is like the moment the first the vocal comes in, it actually sounds like the reverb is an effect instead of the reverb being <clears throat> an ambience around the vocal. You don't learn anything in your comfort zone. Be brave. I sent it out there and I got so much out of it. Two is we all need mentors. There are people who have been there before you, who have learned stuff. There's all this knowledge and you got to tap into it. A mentor can give you feedback based on what you're doing at the time in a way that a tutorial or a book can't. Look, tutorials and books are amazing and I've learned so much watching tutorials and reading books, but when a mentor taps in and gives you specific feedback or advice that's geared towards where you are at a particular time and place, it is so insightful and so helpful. Love the horns. I thought they could overall be also a little bit, not so much brighter, but more in the like three, four K range, a little bit more excited. Get yourself a mentor. It is awesome. Number three is you can get there. Everybody starts from zero. There's a progression and you learn and you learn and you learn. And I really did get to a point where I felt like I'm so close to getting to what the big guys are doing. And in this case, he really shed some light for me as to just some of the little things that I need to do to get to that next level. So my advice to you is just start, figure out what it is you're good at and what you want to do and realize that you can get there. It just takes work and insight. And again, getting the right kind of advice. You give on the bottom here, I see you have a limiter down there. I would, to, in order to have the, or the bottom bloom, you got to be careful that you're not squashing it back to death, right? Four. Here's the really cool one. It's all about musicality and that's why you can't just write it in a book or put it in a formula or a preset. A lot of the things that Richard talked to me about were about musicality and delivering the emotion of the song. Yes, he was talking technical stuff, but the whole motivation was how do you get to engagement? How do you get somebody to feel something? I really, really love that because that's the place where I've always approached music. I was just so happy that his perspective was really so aligned with the way I think and it felt like I'm on the right track. Just to give it a little bit of life for a moment because that's really what it is. That's what a fill does. It breaks up the little moment and gives you an energy boost. I just want to take a second here to give a shout out. So this is a friend of mine, Jonathan. His, uh, he's got a new YouTube channel called Arc Solva Studio. He's talking about guitars, amps, and all the stuff that goes along with it. If you're interested in guitars, please check him out. So there's Richard. This is what it looks like. He made a video. I didn't even know that that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to give me like notes or something like that. But he spoke for a good while and really, really went in depth. So at this point, I'd really just like to thank Richard really really respect people when they just take it to the nth degree and do such a good job and i felt like he really cared i felt like he really treated me with respect and i felt like he really gave me awesome information so just want to say thank you that's a real win for everybody okay so i've got to get to work and implement some of the ideas that richard gave me for this song so i can really really bring it to life next week i'm going to go over a mix that i did for a group of my friends called Suffer the Children and somebody who's kind of big and famous actually did the track. So I'm going to shed some light as to how I mixed that song. In the meantime, if you thought anything I said was kind of cool, it'd be so awesome if you would hit the subscribe button. Take care.